What if love isn't what we've been taught by the world, but something far deeper and more profound? Today we're going to explore the Bible's definition of love, a love that transforms hearts and impacts relationships in ways beyond our understanding. Stay with us as we discover the true essence of love through God's Word. Imagine a world where love was never selfish, never boastful, and never hurtful. Picture relationships where forgiveness was the norm, patience never ran out, and kindness was always present. Does that sound too good to be true? Yet this is the very love God calls us to. The world often distorts what love really is, but 1 Corinthians 13 offers us a clear unchanging picture of love as God intended. Let's dive in and explore this revolutionary view of love together. Context 1 Corinthians 13 is often called the love chapter, and it's one of the most quoted parts of scripture, particularly at weddings. But Paul wasn't writing this just for romantic occasions. He was addressing a divided and confused church in Corinth, a place where pride, conflict, and misunderstanding ran high. The Corinthian church was gifted, but they lacked the most important thing, love. In response, Paul writes this timeless message to remind them that spiritual gifts, knowledge, and even faith are worthless without love. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Let's explore each part of this passage and what it reveals about true, godly love. Love is patient, love is kind. Godly love is not in a rush. It waits patiently, even in difficult situations. Love shows kindness, not just through words, but in our actions. Being kind is a daily decision to uplift and encourage others, even when it's easier to ignore them. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. True love doesn't get jealous of others' success or feel threatened by what others have. It also doesn't need to seek attention or brag. Instead, love humbly celebrates the good in others without seeking recognition or feeling envious. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking. Real love honors others, it respects their dignity and doesn't tear them down. Love isn't focused on what it can get in return, it's about giving. A self-seeking attitude destroys relationships, but godly love looks out for the well-being of others. It is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. True love isn't quick to get angry or offended. It has a long fuse. This part of the verse challenges us to let go of the grudges we might hold. Love doesn't keep a list of offenses, it forgives and moves on. How freeing would it be if we let go of past hurts and chose love instead? Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. Love celebrates what is good and true. It's not satisfied with dishonesty, manipulation, or wrongdoing. Instead, it finds joy in truth and justice. This is a love that's rooted in righteousness. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love isn't fragile, it's strong and unyielding. It protects others from harm, builds trust in relationships, holds on to hope in difficult times, and never gives up. Even when circumstances are tough, love remains steadfast and committed. What does love look like in your life right now? Are there areas where you struggle to be patient or kind? Maybe there's someone you've found it difficult to forgive, or perhaps you've been holding on to past wrongs. Take a moment to think about it. If you feel comfortable, 
share in the comments below. How do you think we can practice this kind of love in our daily lives? Practical Application Paul's description of love isn't meant to be just a nice idea. It's a calling for how we are to live. Here are some ways to apply this kind of love in your life. Be patient in relationships. When someone frustrates you, instead of reacting with irritation, take a deep breath and choose patience. Ask God to help you wait without growing weary. Forgive and let go. If you're holding on to any past hurts, decide to forgive. Forgiveness is not a feeling but a choice. Release that person to God and choose to let go of the bitterness. Speak truth with kindness. We are surrounded by half-truths and manipulation, so choose to speak truth, but always with love and kindness. Encourage others with words that build them up rather than tear them down. Imagine how your relationships would change if you fully embraced this kind of love. Picture a life where you're no longer weighed down by anger, bitterness, or envy. God's love, as described in 1 Corinthians 13, is not just something we receive, it's something we are called to live out. And when we live this love, we reflect God's heart to the world around us. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in the next study, so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video.